Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another in our Life in Lockdown series of webinars. My name is Tamsin Slatter, and I'm the UK Director of Customer Success here at Vectorworks. I'm delighted to introduce my colleague and Vectorworks partner, um, Jonathan Reeves, who morning, is everybody. going to be our speaker today. Um, Jonathan was actually due to be speaking at the Design Summit today in San Diego, the Vectorworks Design Summit, which like so many events in these bizarre times has had to be cancelled. So we're really delighted to have him with us today. Also, my colleague Luka Stefanovic is with us as well on the session and we'll be keeping an Hi, eye on morning, the rest of the panel. Um, I was due to be in audience for the for the Jonathan's lecture, so I'm <laughs> It's almost, yeah. it's almost as sunny here as it is would would be in San Diego. So you know, yeah, yeah it's not bad. It's not bad. to travel. <laughs> So we're all, I'm sure, as all of you are, we're all working in very different circumstances. Jonathan has a very intellectual bookshelf behind him, looking very sensible. Luca has his kitchen behind him. I have my dressmaking and my son working behind me. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's all very similar for the rest of you. Um, and I personally, I really like the fact that everything's become very real suddenly instead of us all having to pretend to be something else yeah. so um yeah so what without further ado um just a little bit about jonathan he is a qualified architect he's actually got over 20 years experience both as an architect but also with vectorworks itself he is um, a value-added reseller of the software and provides excellent training um and has just so much experience to bear and and we're so lucky to have him here today to give him the benefit uh, to give us the benefit of his wisdom on visualization so i'm going to hand over to you now jonathan and then you can share your screen and you're good to go looking forward to it thank you very much tamsin good okay well welcome you and luca back a bit later especially when we do some questions and answers um so you're going to change presenter. We might turn the cameras off for a little while while yeah, we start. Yeah, I think the we'll do that to save the bandwidth. Yeah, and then you know, so I'm going to run through a little bit of a slideshow at the beginning, just so a bit of an outline on the agenda, a um, little bit about my background and um, so on, and then we're going to kind of get into the main bulk of the presentation, talk about Enscape and Twin Motion and real-time rendering. So let's share my screen. Um, we're going to talk about real-time rendering and how Vectorworks works with both Enscape and Twinmotion. Um, as Tanzim said, my name is Jonathan Reeves and I'm an architect. I will talk a little bit about myself at the beginning just to introduce myself. But these are the two kind of main real-time rendering engines we're gonna focus on for today's presentation. Um, there are one or two more options, but let's focus on these two as the first port of call. So the webinar learning objectives really are to try and help you understand the benefits of using uh, real-time rendering within the architectural industry or interior design and landscape industry, I should widen that out too. Um, we're gonna try and recognize the opportunities and understand how you can uh, implement 3D real-time rendering workflows in your business really right now. Um, it's been something that maybe uh, it's been kind of a little way off for a number of years, but really I would say now is a great time to get on board with real-time rendering. Um, it's really kind of a very exciting new sort of field opening up. So the really bulk of the presentation will be uh, me demonstrating some real examples of how you can use Enscape and Twinmotion uh, with Vectorworks to enhance your renderings, animations, and create really compelling presentations and you know really sell your projects to your clients or to the public or for marketing or whatever you want to do with it. To be honest, also, just having an awful lot of fun is a very, very important aspect of playing around with these bits of software. Um, and you'll really enjoy it. That's what makes, I think, um, going back to doing the 3D modeling in Vector, it's so worthwhile because you can get some really beautiful output really quickly and easily now. So finally, um, I do hope that during this presentation will at least motivate you to look into real-time rendering and see what it can do for your business or for your um, kind of enhancement and enjoyment of the of the profession but also you know to try to teach you a few little tips as well and kind of just get you really started with where we are so you can see this little video playing was a, a falling water tutorial I did a number of years ago you're more than welcome to look at that on my YouTube channel 
um, I think it, we did it in four parts. It was quite quite a big effort, but it was a really nice um, thing to do. We've got some really lovely output. This is Twin Motion, by the way. Um, and a really reason I put this in is probably my favorite building in the world. So I would encourage you, when you're learning, to try and take a building, either your building or maybe someone else's, and just see what you can do with it. It's a great way to learn without the pressure of a real world project. And it's super fun to do. So if I may, a little bit of introduction about myself. Tantum gave a lovely introduction, but I'll just flesh that out a bit. Um, here's me a couple of years ago. My name is Jonathan Reeves. Uh, I established my firm in 2000. Wow, 20 years ago. That's flown. That's gone super fast. Um, so I'm a practicing architect in the UK. 20 years experience both as a professional VectorWorks teacher and trainer. And in the last couple of years, I've been <clears throat> getting heavily into twin motion. And since uh, Enscape came out on the the PC for the Vectorworks now with Surface Pack 3. I'm really excited to get into that too. <clears throat> um, over the years, I've always been a UK reseller for Vectorworks as well. And I'm really pleased to say that I'm actually the UK reseller for um, Twin Motion now, working with Epic Games. I've worked quite closely with them over the last couple of years to develop the market. So I'm really excited about the opportunity as well. I like to try to say I'm an author. Um, I think that's okay, Tamsin, isn't it? If you've written a, one book at least. Absolutely. You are an author. Oh, very good. Thank Speaking you. as an yeah. author myself, I absolutely give you the right to say you're an author. Of course you're an author. That's it. Tamsin's and it written ain't easy. a it number ain't of easy. books, wonderful books, <laughs> and it does take a lot of effort, as she said. It does take a lot of effort, and uh, it's very satisfying as well, seeing that book it in is your hands. It is extremely satisfying. Yes. So maybe during this lockdown time, if any of you've got a book burning away, I would encourage you to give it a go. Yeah, go okay, it. so where am I? I'm based, well, brilliant location. Uh, I've lived all over the country, actually, in lots of different places, London, Bristol, Devon, um, Sheffield, but now bang in the middle in Loughborough. Couldn't be more central. So within two hours of pretty much anybody, which at the moment doesn't really make a huge difference because everything's online. But, you know, when I am able to travel again, I can get around and go to places and do training with people, which is fantastic. So I've actually got three websites. Um, love you to have a look at my uh, architecture website. I'm still an architect. I still do practice and do the odd project here and there. Um, my main website is my Vectorworks focused website. And um, this is where you'll find information about my Vectorworks training, sales, um, all our special offers, that kind of thing. And recently, I've just set up a new realtime rendering.com website for Twin Motion. It's only been out a couple of weeks. So take a look at that. And that's just really completely focused on Twin Motion. Um, so that's exciting. So, yeah, you know, going back a bit, my 20 years experience in, in this profession, um, this was a render that I did when I was at university at Sheffield, um, doing my final year thesis project. And it was done in Minicad 4, if you remember that one back in the day. Any of you remember that, I'm sure? Um, Strata Vision, which was a really nice little rendering program at the time. But this tiny little image, and I think this was probably full size, 640 by 480 pixels, it really took... I think the modeling took me like three weeks to do um, on the computer I had at the time, you know, something with a lo lot less power than your phone. The rendering took 72 hours. I remember sleeping in my student bedroom with this computer, you know, chundering away all 72 hours. Luckily it didn't crash and I did make it work. Um, so, you know, that's where we were a number of years ago. But nowadays the stunning quality of things that we can produce uh, in real time is just blowing me away. And it's really got me excited about getting back into 3D and rendering over the years. So I've really kind of got my passion back um, for real-time rendering. And if any of you have um, an inkling into, you know, doing sort of renders, the thing that may have put you off before was the time it took, but it doesn't now. Okay, so I use Vectorworks most days. Um, I've worked with about 400 companies over the years, probably more now actually, and I've done a lot of training in my time. So I'm hoping quite a few of you please pop a little uh, something in the questions. If you have met me and I've trained you, uh, let me know. That'd be great to see that you're here. Good, okay, so just a quick word on the book. Um, still available, it's a few years old now, but there is a really great section in there called the hints and tips section. And I would encourage anybody who's using Vectorworks to take a look at this. Um, these are really easy to use hints and tips. It also features 10 nice case studies from UK architects. Again, a few years old now, some of them are still quite relevant. And in many ways, it, when you look at what they were doing, you know, real trailblazers for BIM uh, in Vectorworks. So definitely take a look at that and you can get a PDF copy still. 
Good. Okay. So lastly, what have I been up to? I've been very busy. Uh, love making videos for my YouTube channel. And I would love it if some of you would join and subscribe to my innovative Vector It's BIM channel. We're on 4.25k subs. So I'm looking for a few more subs and hoping to get that up to about 10,000 this year if I can. It's a big ask. But I've been very productive lately and using this lockdown time to make almost, well, loads of videos. You can see in the last month, I've made absolutely tons. So that's a good use of my time for sure. Um, there's some really nice videos, some tutorials, lots of training videos. So it's a great resource for you with free training and tutorials and inspiration, really. So do take a look at that after today if you would like to. And you can see here's my latest video, one of them. Uh, benefits of Service Select. It's a question that I get asked all the time. What are the benefits? So please take a look at that. Good. So let's get into the bulk of the presentation. Um, after that little intro, let's talk about real-time rendering, a little bit of more words, and then we'll get into some nice sort of images and pictures. I mean, what is real-time rendering? Well, it's pretty obvious. Real-time rendering is exactly what it sounds like. Images and animations that are rendered so fast on the computer, they appear to be generated in real time. And the first time I saw this, I literally fell off my chair. I couldn't believe that this was possible, uh, even though I've been in the industry for a long, long time. Now, luckily, um, in Surface Pack 3 of Vector, it's 2020, we've had the fantastic news that Enscape is now integrated with one-click uh, integration into Surface Pack 3. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. You're really going to enjoy that side of things. And it's still in beta, actually, at the moment. So the good thing is it's freely available, I think, until I think it's September or October. And, you know, you can kind of just get hold of that and try it. Only downside is it's only on the PC for now. So I might switch over to my PC later uh, to demonstrate that. But I have got something that I can show you for now. Twinmotion 2020 is the other real-time rendering software we'll talk about today. And this is um, actually a very interesting history. It was owned by Advent early on a few years ago. Then it got taken over by Epic Games. And I'm sure any of you who are aware of this will have downloaded the free version already. Epic were very generous in that they opened it up, they gave it away for free to ev everybody who wanted it. And it's really fantastic. And it makes it very easy to produce very high quality images, visualization, um, particularly animated sequences. And these are the kind of things that were super hard a number of years ago. Um, you know, I know for sure, because things that took me three weeks now take me three hours. Unbelievable. So it's great for architecture. It's really good for urban design and landscape design. And then these are these are professionals that maybe have kind of not been so on board with them um, rendering and animation because, you know, representing things like plants or interiors is quite hard to do. So twin motion really aims to give you a very intuitive icon driven interface and it has the power of the unreal engine behind it um, if any of your kids are gamers you'll know that perhaps fortnite is actually created and based by or created by epic based on the unreal engine so minimum requirements i'm not going to spend too long on this but yeah the key with real-time rendering is you've got to have a decent graphics card i mean two gig is about the minimum really an idea would be four you know, I'd certainly go for an eight gig graphics card if you could. Um, PCs have a bigger range of graphics cards available for sure, but good things like the new Mac Pro 16 inch model, that does have an eight gig graphics card available now. So definitely choose your uh, graphics card. If you want to do real time rendering, go for as good as you can get. Twin motion, um, again, similar requirements really. Ideally, a four gig, uh, eight gig would be recommended if you can. Um, it does need a high Sierra or upwards. That's fine for most people. Not too worried about the RAM. It's actually very um, not intensive on the CPU. It's GPU. It's all to do with the graphics card. So I've actually got a, a Razer Core X, which is a, an external GPU with a Vega 64 plugged into my MacBook Pro, which I'm actually running at the moment. And that really does give me a massive boost in power. So if any of you are interested on that, check out my channel. There's a video on that particular subject as well. So let's have a look at the costings just briefly before we get into the presentation. Um, well, Enscape is actually free until September, I think September, October. You can also get a full version, 14-day uh, trial as well. Now, after that, with Enscape, I think it's um, they've got two modules, really. You can either bill monthly. You can bid a monthly in dollars there or um, a monthly option or an annual option. Twinmotion takes a slightly different route. 
Um, it's not free anymore. You can get a free um, demo version, but it's actually extremely good value for what it was. When I was selling it before Epic took over, it was 1,500 pounds and lots of companies bought it at that. Now it is only 175 pounds. It's 55% off special offer we've got at the moment till the end of April for sure. Um, the trial version is limited to 2K output size. So it's great to play with, but you will find it's a bit limited. Um, but as I say, the, the costing of the single license is, is not a huge cost for most people. So you can check out either of my websites to have a look at that if you like. Just mention a couple of special offers and then we'll get into the presentation. Um, while we're all working from home, personally, I, you know, like everybody, have tried to keep busy and tried to keep helping my customers. So I'm offering 30% off all my training. Um, we've got 55% off the twin motion till the end of um, April for sure. And also with Vectorworks, if any of you are interested, you can get 30% off any upgrades or new licenses as well, including the VSS. So some great special offers out for you if you're interested. So we're not trying to sell anything to you guys at the moment at all, but they're there if you are interested in that. Good, okay, so let's have a look at the next stage. So what we'll do is let's just open up my slideshow and I'm basically going to Go here, and I'm going to start talking about the Enscape plugin. So that's the first thing. Um, and then I'm going to come on to talk about Twinmotion as well. 